A start of glory morning time when everyone is going for work. It was the area outside the biggest and luxurious building. Reporters and guards were standing on their places as they were waiting for a comeback of big personality after a long time. Just then, four vehicles stopped as guard came out of cars. A tall guy wearing perfect black suit opened the car door for the most awaited person. And numerous cameras started flashing the same direction with voices of many unstoppable questions. Welcome back, Boss Jim. Jungkook looked at the guy who just greeted him and opened his hologram screen to scan his info. Kim Taeyang, age 26, Jun Jungkook's personal secretary and fully trusted friend, worked with Jun from his teenage know everything about POT projects. Instead of answering him, Jungkook hugged him and then Jungkook started to walk inside the building, but then he heard a reporter question. Mr. Jun, you came back after a long time and now what about project POD? Will you continue with it? Before I ever left my any project in between, he asked with the coldest hour on which the reporter rapidly shook his head. And Jungkook entered in building with Taeyang and some cars following him. Every employee and company was standing like a statue to greet their boss. Welcome boss Jun. So he turned to see a guy wearing long coat with a lethal mark on his eyebrow coming towards him. When Alex, 26 year old chief head of company's department, not included in PRT project. Jungkook frowned at him for suspicious reasons. Point. After a long time, we met. How was the business trip? Good. He looked at Alex as his gaze went to Jungkook's left cheek. Any problem? No, nothing. I'll take my leave. Have a nice day. Alex went from there, and Jungkook also went inside his office. With Taeyang and Kai standing outside of his office, Jungkook just Taeyang called him. Jungkook turned to him but frowned to see tears in his eyes. Yes, Young. Taeyang smiled and hugged him tightly as if he leaves him so he will disappear somewhere. Why are you crying? You are Jungkook, you right? Jungkook nodded. Then do our childhood handshake with me. Taeyang forwarded his hand. Jungkook looked at him confused. Just then Taeyang got a call from someone. Ma'am Soon Young. Taeyang looked at Chango curiously, you can review the office, if anything is needed, tell me. Saying this, Taeyang left office while talking on call. Now Chango is alone, standing in his office, Chango went forward to his office table just to see two picture frames. This is Taeyang Hyung and Namjoon Hyung, but who are these four others? His gaze went to other photo frame, he picked it up, exactly looked like me. Chango touched his eyes and hair in curiosity and start to explore and check other things in office. Meanwhile in Tang's office, Tang entered in his office, closed the door with a third while sitting down with teary eyes. At first I rarely thought our Jungkook is back. But he is a machine. What will I say to him now? Suddenly Tang phone rang, he picked the call. Hyung, yeah Tang, I'm in plane right now. I'll reach there soon to meet Jungkook. Sure Hyung, yeah, are you crying? No, I'm good. So why did it sound like that? Oh, maybe I'm too excited. I'll meet you soon there. Bye. Bye. Then placed the phone beside him on the floor while closing his eyes and leaning his head the door behind him. At home, finally I completed all the course. I thought the robot and Jungkook eat electricity. They also eat breakfast out. Sitting there one start to think about what happened in the morning. Today's morning, Wang came down to make breakfast for her and Jungkook as he had to go off. She entered in the kitchen with a messy bun and switched on the stove, but then she remembered last night. After a long time, I had a good sleep and no pain or headache. She smiled to herself like, if a person see her like this, they will directly call mental hospital. But then the overthinker Ryan again used her mind and thought, wait, I have to make breakfast for that robot. He will eat and in charge himself. But suddenly she heard a whisper just behind her. That made a tingle sensation in her tummy. So do you want me to eat something different? Wan turned to face him but regretted because their nose were almost touching. She looked at him as he was all ready to go off his wearing a suit that perfectly fit his puffy body. She goes, but how many minutes more your session of checking me out will continue? I just sit there, I will get breakfast. Jungkook chuckled at her red as the mother face and sat on chair. We don't have any major servant at home because Swan don't like many people around her. After some minutes, Swan served him breakfast. After finishing it, Jungkook got up and just went for it while she just blinked her eyes. I'll take my leave. If you need me anytime, call me. 
Jungkook left while Wan was processing everything. She shook her head. Maybe I'm dreaming. Blinked her eyes. Let me pinch myself. Pinch her arm. Wan just get up and do the chores. Present time. I should call Upa or I'll get heart attack in my brain while thinking about this. Hello, Upa. Yes, Wan. Where are you? At my lab. Why? You need something? No, no. But I have a question to ask. Ask. Upa Jungkook ate breakfast. So. But how can a robot eat human meal? Because he is a humanoid robot. What do you mean by wait? Then what is humanoid? Does he feature eating human food in him? Are you there? Yes, when actually humanoid robot has just robotic brain, not body. Oh, just brain. Then what about why? And Fraser has thought as he thought about it. No, no, you are talking right. Look fine. Don't get me wrong. This was important, please. Why not start to get theory? That means he had a real body appearance. Yes, then phone and room said more. Wan cut the call and ran out and sat in her car and went somewhere. In Jungkook office. So these are files I have to work on. Yes, and if you need any help, you can ask me anything anytime. Where is the POD project file? I didn't saw it here. You think I will keep the gold in public to get it easily? Then I kept it in a secret place. I will get it in some minutes sweat. Then left Jungkook office to get the file while Jungkook again start to review the file in front of him. Just an office door opened with a loud thud. Why and what happened? Jungkook stand up and asks using worried emotion skill after seeing tears in her eyes. Why and run to him and hug him tightly like there is not more. Are you okay? Jungkook asked in low voice caressing her ears. Why backed up and placed her hand on his heart. She was shocked with an unstoppable smile. It's beating. It's beating, Jungkook. Yeah, it's an organ. Called her, so it will beat. No, no, you can't understand. I just one cup Jungkook cheese and a tap their lips together. Jungkook got shocked at first, but suddenly he felt his heart beat faster. In the present moment, there was sending chill down his spine. He forgot about other things because he only had a robot brain, but a real human heart. Thought came in his mind that he maybe feel good after this, so he gave in and kissed her back, kissing aggressively each other. They didn't realize when Jungkook picked her up and placed her on the table. When Ryan's arms were around Jungkook's neck and Jungkook's hand were on her lower waist, just again Jungkook's room door opened, but this time the third don't sound like door sound. Jungkook and Ryan came to their senses and looked behind while fixing their cell. By the view, it was Taeyang with the files that were on the floor now and. Another tall, good-looking man with mouth hang open. You both didn't change at all.